In today's society, it can be difficult to eat a healthy and balanced diet. Everywhere you look, there's advertisements and temptations to eat greasy, sugary, and unhealthy foods. Food that is terrible for the human body has become a staple of American food culture. The rates of obesity and the amount of diseases that are caused because of unhealthy eating are out of control. The information I'm about to present to you can have a huge impact on the quality of your life. So eating food is one of the most important functions of survival, yet the quality of the food we eat is often overlooked. I'm sure that you've heard the term, you are what you eat. It turns out that that's a lot more true on a deeper level than we've been told. So look, the food we eat determines the makeup of your cellular membranes. The cellular membranes are what are build and sustain the bones, the organs, the muscles, and your brain. The average human loses around 300 billion cells per day due to old age. The body replaces those cells with energy from the food that we eat. So when we eat junk food like candy, chips, processed foods with no nutritional benefit, it makes it a lot harder for our body to make new cells which directly impacts our brain, our bones, our organs, and our muscles. So but our bodies are incredible. So, you know, they can figure out how to replace the cells and work well, even if we're not feeding it properly. But eventually, it will start to malfunction, which will lead to an array of issues. The average American diet is too high in sodium and sugar and calories. We don't eat enough fruits and vegetables that have calcium and fiber. The solution's simple. Eat more veggies, fruit, seeds, nuts, grains, drink more water, and exercise regularly. Eat less processed foods, sugar-sweetened beverages, trans and saturated fats with high levels of salt and sugar. If you eat crappy food, you're going to feel crappy. If you eat healthy food, you're going to feel healthy. Consequences of unhealthy eating over a long period of time includes heart disease, diabetes, obesity, blood pressure problems, high blood pressure, stroke, cancer, osteoporosis, and much more. So here I'm going to show you a diagram of the top 10 leading causes of death in America in 2012. So here is a diagram, top 10 causes right here, right? Four of the top 10 leading causes of disease are because or directly direct directly connected to eating unhealthy including number one number two and number four look heart disease you can correct that not correct that but you can help prevent that by eating healthy and exercising there are types of cancer that the same thing if eating a bunch of old fat foods and sugars can help cancer cells grow. And then number four is stroke. All of these, one, two, and four can be helped by eating properly. So the major cause of heart disease is unhealthy eating and physical lack of physical exercise. It's the number one leading cause of death and you can help prevent it by eating healthy. Um, as far as diabetes, um, it's the same thing goes. You eat healthy, you exercise, less chance of diabetes. And with diabetes, it can lead to blindness and amputations of your limbs. And obesity rates, they're crazy in America. Over two-thirds of Americans are overweight, and one out of five are obese. The time has long passed for Americans to make a change in their diet. But there's also many benefits to eating healthy other than just preventing disease. Eating healthy increases your energy, helps you sleep better, helps you build strong bones and teeth, it can improve your memory, and it can help you improve your mood. If you want to increase your energy, eat a lot of carbohydrates, proteins, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy oils. If you've been feeling depressed or tired a lot, 
you know, cut out the candy, the cookies, the soda, and the sugary drinks, and it can help you feel better. Look, in conclusion, the food we eat directly impacts the life we live. The food we eat is the fuel for your body. You eat good fuel, you have energy. You eat bad fuel, you're going to struggle. Um, more fruits, more veggies, but if, if you want to live a long and healthy life, and, and you, but if you want disease and problems, then eat a lot of junk food. All it takes is a little motivation and willpower for you to make a decision that can possibly affect your life forever. Food is the building block for your mind and your body. Peace.